hello and welcome back to American Farming. As you'd expect, if you saw the last episode, you'll know that we are still harvesting our rye, and uh, we might be for some time, we'll have to see. Um, I do intend at some point here to uh, get everything lined up so that the helper can follow along uh, with the combine with follow me, because as long as there's enough room, usually they don't struggle to uh, to work together so we will we will test that out shortly uh, my only concern is just this having bales up here um, so maybe i'll have the uh, the john deere nearby and on call just in case uh, in fact what i might do uh, might be a, just a waste i was going to do one maybe top headland there without the baler but now nah, we'll do one more and then yeah then we can start on the far side so things are coming along uh, with this harvest obviously i can't tell exactly how much we're going to get yield wise but um, it's definitely looking very promising uh, i think it's imperative that we get the uh, the harvest done this month though because if we don't it will be a bit unfortunate um, unless we are sort of making it you know the next harvest a bit quickened because I would like to to make the most of this but I also want to get as much in as possible so yeah I'm kind of you know find that balance so we'll, we'll see how it goes over the course of the next couple of episodes including this one Yeah, it just takes ages. I mean, really, we could be we could be doing this with two combines, and it would. Uh, I mean, we, we've made a big progress, I think, now because usually the headland is, you know, the biggest area. On one hand, one positive is that I got it right. Guess right with the lorry. Fantastic, fantastic timing. Beauty, so the rye is going in. Uh, once we get to the end here, then what we'll do uh, is line it up as much as we can, I suppose. Um, maybe what would be a good thing to do is lease out this, um, this bale loader. Anything in the sales though? Hmm. No. Do we? It's, uh, it's a lot of field remaining, to be honest. But, I mean, we could just lease one, you know, but the faff of getting it down here and all that. Um, what I wanted to look at, though, is none of this. But I did want to look at the bale loaders here. That's what we need. I would just lease it. 24 bales. Right, I believe that we did about 30 some. Ish. So far. So if I lease this out today, then we will use it today. But I will do that once we get to the end here. We're nearly, nearly there and then we can do our best to set it up once again. Come on, helper. I know you're still on the clock. I think it's a bit easier doing that than setting it all up again. Just keep them running for a bit. We are, as you can tell with all this ride, we are absolutely going to have some money coming in. So we don't have to worry about that. It's hard to say exactly how much. We could do something with it. In, like, as make that as part of like the, the end of the series is make something with it. But, um, but I think I'd like to sell it straight up, because I never do. And it's a lot, a lot of rye. So anything that would process would take a long time. Look at all these bales. I'm very concerned that that's going to be problematic. 
So I think we have to get down to the shop as soon as possible. Oh, oh I thought they had gone mental there for a second. So I'm just going to try the help route just to see how it goes. Oh, yeah, already terribly. <laughs> my row that crooked it, it could actually be that it was my row that was a bit oh that seems fine okay I think that's all right I wanted to see can I maneuver this with the I can right so that's what we'll do then we'll head down to the shop I will actually you know what this might be a really good idea just to empty on the go this first run and then head down to the shop get the loader and then come back here and try and get as many bales cleared out of the way as we can for the harvester Welcome back to the shop. Right, we are going to lease out a bit of kit here today. Not going to buy it. I mean, if we had the extra money, then it would be different. But since we just, since we don't. Right, okay, bail loaders before anything goes funny. Let's get this sorted. Since they're free, might as well do that. We are taking on the road, so we should put something perfect. Lease it. 2575. I think that's acceptable. Now, just hopefully, we can actually connect it here. Oh, fantastic. Happy, happy days. Let's see how it responds though. Yeah, it'll need to be connected to a tractor to actually load. Well, I prefer it that way. This is simply transportation, so. Right, we will uh, get this all set up at the farm. And get it, I suppose, yeah, the field boss. Perfect opportunity to, uh, to get it going again. And uh, we'll get some bales all cleared up. All right, we are back, and for the third time, it's saying that it is a nearly full grain tank, so we want to kind of catch it right now if we can. That's the best time, is immediately. Oh, should not have taken this so short. It's all right, what are you on about? What are you on about? Oh, he's turned around now. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I can. Um, I can actually stop this, and I think I will. But I'll wait a bit. Don't know how full it is. Yeah, maybe right about here. So basically, just you can detach the header from the harvester, and it uh, can block the helper, the follow me helper. Ah, oh, right, we're already already full oops sorry there bail so yeah I'll show you what I mean it's a bit cheeky but it works And we're unloading. How fabulous is that? So we'll let that go on. We'll find the field boss. We'll uh, detach from that. <clears throat> we will need it again actually in like right now actually probably. <laughs> I think I think so. I think it's gonna be full. Yeah it is. 
that's fine so we'll go over there we'll get that emptied and then we can load some bales all right i think that's good about there and then we can uh, adjust it as we need I think that might be perfect for the uh, the front one, to be honest. Brilliant. Okay, so we'll get that unloading. We'll get another thirty thousand from this hopper and another thirty from the rear. And uh, blimey, what are we at now? Wild. So we'll be at 120,000 when it's all done, which is quite good, <laughs> considering that we uh, are not close to done. So n nothing really to complain about, but oh, I keep missing it. There we are. Now let's have a look at the uh, harvesters. Ah, okay, first, first interaction with the bale. So we really do need to get this sorted very quickly oh my goodness right I think I'm going to try and free it <coughs> oh wow what is going on stop I think if we stop it and then just roll it out carefully just like that oh, perfect just had to roll it out no big deal Right, as you were. 68. Okay, let's try and catch that before we... Uh, oh, that's about as far as it's going to go. I wonder if they're safe to drive over. Oh yeah, they're fine. <laughs> right, let's make our way over to the combine very quickly. Uh, get loaded up so that we can yeah, empty it as much as possible. It's already 80% full again. Blimey. So we'll get that sorted uh, and then after that we will get these bales shifted. our first load of bales so 24 now here's my problem is that I wanted to potentially relocate our bale storage there but I don't know if I I don't know if I should we have uh, oh no we've got all that hay in never mind let's uh, let's just put that in there then I forgot that we had loaded all that in Fantastic. Get in. Sorted. Absolutely br brilliant, that is. We've got so, so many bales. And this is going to take quite a while all in itself. <laughs> not just the bale loading, but that's fine. I tend... Oh, have I not put this back? Oh, okay, there we go. Blimey. Yeah, I reckon the best way is just to go section by section. I'm going to start at the top here and kind of work my way through. There's lots of missed bits, as you can see. I, I, I don't know if I fully intend on using all of this straw. I mean, we could sell quite a bit of it. I suppose I could have probably just... Well, no, I didn't want to buy this. All right, what's going on now? wasn't really doing that before it was quite 
There we go. I was going to say it was quite effective. Oop, too effective. Oh no. Brilliant bit of kit though. Really, really quite good. Yeah, this harvest is just going on and on. But uh, we are in the final stages of it now. This was really the biggest part. and uh, But the fact that we've done so much, I don't think we'll hit the max capacity of one of the bins, which is all right. Doesn't mean we have to get rid of. Oh, wow, already. Wow. It is a constant progress. I don't want to just always do time lapses either, but this is kind of like the, the, the time that we're at at this point in the uh, season is harvest. So that's pretty much all we're doing. And uh, again with the bales, we want to clear them so that we can so that we can put another crop in. Oh, was this not was this not close enough for ya? What's going on? Oh, there we are. Weird. That was super weird. Very weird. Right, we'll let that do its thing. It will turn round. Yeah, I don't know what else to do with this straw. But anyways, I think for now, though, the best thing we can do, even if for a little while, is crack on with a time lapse. Here we go with a, another load of bales, 24 bales. I think this is the third load, if I'm not mistaken. Is that, uh, what's going on here? That The harvester really does not like that area for some reason. Oh, they've left, okay. Yeah, I've lost a bit of rye now from that. Very frustrating. But the nice thing is, we are going to have the uh, the harvest done this month. And that was something I was a bit concerned about. Um, just with how everything was going. Okay, you're taking that a lot wider than I was expecting here. I'll get you to follow me. So, speaking of all these little bits of straw here, I'm just trying to get the baler to pick it up, but I don't think I'll be doing that an awful lot, because, I don't know, it just, it doesn't seem worth it. You know, I, I feel like in, in real life, you wouldn't pick, go back and pick up every little bit, especially on a field this massive. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, and when, I, when it's a small field, I tend to go back and get you know, miss bits, especially if it's a bigger section, or if I need to complete a bale, that's mostly when I will do that. Um, yes, this is the fi very final bit of this. So we're just gonna wait for that to come back round. This should be all ready to go for another bale loading session here shortly. We've been clearing bales rapidly as well, so that's really good. I thought I would take advantage and just have it do something. Oh, there we go. There's one. 
we get this one we'll start here now the nice thing is as well I mean it is it is August and we could potentially um, get the drilling in but I just I don't know if that's a good idea to do it now actually isn't it is it maybe it is a good idea maybe we can start on the far side there oh yes I think we will I think we'll get it in in August I think that's what we're going to do perfect well the the help is all all over the place there I'm all over the place I'm gonna shut the engine down on that now yeah I mean we could get this part done that's fine but I am gonna get this just stopped for the time being and get this stopped as well we've done some really good stuff today very pleased about this uh, this episode it's it we are gonna have this pretty much done the reason I'm not gonna crack on with the harvest is because I'm gonna just let it finish up at the end here of, of August so we can take advantage of the rest of this month and get a crop in right now so just before we do move on and you know what I'm mm, hang on let's see I just want to see what we've got for options first canola is the big one especially since it'll be ready like right after uh, we do have some canola down here though that's going to be ready soon as well um, but I want to get something in today and I don't think linseed can go until September so maybe we should just wait because that would be lovely but also a big field of canola would just be so nice problem is with canola you do have to sell it later on so if we do harvest it in July for example price of canola we did check this with peas before uh, canola in July is rubbish September it starts to go up quite a bit but like double well 50% yeah so I mean we could hold out till September and sell it but that would pretty much be the last thing we do so we can get about 1500 pound per thousand liters in September which seems better but I, I like the idea of linseed I really do let's check linseed as well right same sort of thing we'll probably get loads of linseed as well maybe canola is a better option I reckon it is yeah something that's not quite as where is um, rye right so rye and linseed would be similar well maybe then oh hello see that would be cool too peas and then they're ready at the same time you know what no let relax let's chill out let's do let's do drilling in April for August look at how quick that is because all these other things yeah they'll be ready in July but I have to get them ready right now so this will give us time to sort the field out everything yeah we're doing peas end of end of so that's ready in August and the price is probably rubbish but September is fine yeah something a bit different brilliant okay then what we'll do is I reckon in in a bit of a final time lapse because there is no major rush now I do want to get the harvest itself done the bales we can sort in the next month while something else is going on I reckon the cows are fine um, I was very near to ending the episode but I think I would just like to get this done because we are we are nearly there and we might as well smash it out uh, while we have this lovely August opportunity so I will do the harvesting myself and let's crack on with it
Alright, there we go. It's all loaded in. This, well, this hopper is at least on top of all the other rye that we have. This is really only a, a handful of uh, passes, three maybe. So it won't won't be a full hopper, which is all right. Maybe maybe it will actually be one full hopper possibly. But uh, yeah, I missed a bit there, and yeah, there were a few incidences, but we did get it sorted out, um, and we've got a massive rye harvest from it. Uh, we probably won't continue on with the harvest in the next episode. This will be done before that. The uh, bales and all that we can sort in September. Uh, in September as well we might be harvesting canola, which is why I wanted to get this done as well today. Because that does give us the opportunity to, uh, uh, to get harvesting over there in the other field. And, um, and then worry about the bales here. So that's really good. Uh, everything else seems to be going well. Lots of bales, lots and lots of bales. Um, how much rye do we have? Oh, we've got so much slurry, blimey. We do. We will be applying that to the field, so that's really good. Uh, we have 180,000 litres of rye. Wow, and then straw, I don't even know. Don't even know. We couldn't find out, though. Let's find out. We have 72 bales that are 7,500 litres each, uh, which works out to just over half a million uh, litres of uh, straw. So we can definitely sell a bunch of them, but of the bales. Um, but we've got still so much room in this shed, this brilliant shed. So we might have to lease one of them again, but we'll make that money back, no problem. Right, okay, as I say, this is going to finish up, so we'll just, uh, you know, give it a nice little aerial view as we depart. Yeah, what a mess, though, <laughs> with all the, the bales and all that. I did clear them quite quickly, um, but we still have, yeah, so many more to collect. So the cows will be happy about that. They'll be able to get manure as well. Um, I might even just sell them all and not give them, just keep some for food, not for for uh, their bedding and oh no collisions here don't yeah look away look away <laughs> only joking right well that does do it for this episode of american farming i hope you've enjoyed it if you have done a cheeky thumbs up really does help out the channel and if you're new please subscribe so until the next one please do take care and bye for now